So I was 24, spring 08. Uh, we want to know what the pH of this solution is given basically a weak base ammonia titrated with a strong acid. Uh, so let's check that out. They give us some numbers here. Let's find the millimoles because I don't know what point of the titration I'm at. So I should go 75 milliliters times 0 0.040 molar. This will end up getting us millimoles. And I'm going to do the same, and this is for the ammonia. I'm going to do the same for the acid. Uh, it's going to be 1.50 milliliters times 1.00 molar. I guess this is just 1.50 millimoles of HNO3. The top one, 75 times 0.04. What is that? Uh, let's see. 3? Okay. So now you look at these. We can think a couple things. First, the weak base is in excess. So we call this what? What region of the titration curve? Base. The weak base is in excess, we call it? Buffer region. Buffer region. Buffer so you could use the Henderson Hasselbach, but it's even easier than using the Henderson Hasselbach. You're halfway, you have half the amount of moles as you do the base. So this is the midpoint or the halfway point. So pH equals pKa. Yeah. So that's, we we're given this here, you can find the pKb, taking the negative log of that number, that's going to be 4.74, and then pKa plus pKb equals 14. So if pKb is 4.74, pKa will end up being 9.26, which is my pH. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay.